that needs to be translated into insights on what they need to do differently to make more this month versus what they made last month, right? How does everything, how does the portfolio of customers that they're holding, who is more important, where is the low hanging fruit, what is the next product you can pitch to this customer, when should you connect with the customer? It's very important you don't do it at the end of the month, right? A customer's insurance needs are not going to come at the end of them. They come through the course of other triggers, right? How do you convert this into a easy to digest actionable nudge? For example, data at Wymo showed us that for one of the product lines uh, in PNC, uh, about uh, renewal rates were about 99% if an agent got in touch with their customer 45 to 60 days before. The typical playbook was agents would get in touch, touch, touch with the customer just, just around the renewal date, right? This is a beautiful insight to give your whole sales team, and they'll say, oh wow, that makes total sense. But nobody is going to have the mental bandwidth to do this across their 100 customers just because it's an insight, right? Even with the best intent. What we do instead is translate that into, hey, you have three hours on your calendar. I can see it from your Outlook or Google or whatever, your Apple calendar. You have three hours on your calendar before your next meeting. Here are five calls you could make. Two of them are coming up for annual in 60 days, and this is the probability of conversion. And here is the next product you can position. Uh, right? So how do you translate it into something that they can do now? Uh, right, and do on the go. Nobody likes to get recommendations on a web page on Monday morning that they have to digest and then plan their day for the week, uh, days through the week, right? They would like to get it immediately. You would like to know what is the best session to go to now. Would you have engaged if someone told you that probably 10 days earlier when you were signing up for ITC? It doesn't make, it, it doesn't hit you, right? You need to then be able to capture for, for you to have the information to keep making better recommendations, you as an organization need to be able to capture what happened to the recommendations that you already gave them. Did they call? Did it last? Did the customer answer? Uh, did the customer ask to call back? What time of day? What day of week? How many days post a sale? How many days before a renewal? When do you pitch a cross sell, uh, et cetera, right? So you should be able to instrument your whole engagement cycle to know exactly what's working and not working. And then you need to do this bottom up. There are carriers here probably with 5,000, 10,000 agents spread out. You have wholesaler teams of like 100, 500, 700. There is no way you're going to move the needle if you're going to try to drill this top down through managers and management, right? Anyone who's less than an average manager, you've lost the whole organization below them. So you have to be able to drive this nudging bottom up. 